Uh, so one of the questions that a lot of people have had about microfinance, and I guess one of the criticisms that has come up, is what happens when somebody cannot pay back their loan? Uh, and in some instances, the, you know, the people who default, their you know, house is taken from them, things are taken as collateral, and in some cases then they're worse off than they were before. So what I wonder is how, what does the Grameen Bank do in these cases, and how do you think uh, microcredit should uh, find its best practice in this regard? Uh, first thing to remember that we work with the poor people and any business, forget about the poor people, any business deals with risk. Business and risk go together. So you don't think you give the money and the money will come back nice and cozy. It's not like that. And for poor people there are more risk. But their life is so uncertain. One tiny little hit everything falls apart. No matter how much devoted, how much committed you are, everything falls apart because something happened. Either in political arena, either in weather or something, a flood, a cyclone, whatever, a theft, a bird, a fire, whatever. She's back on the ground, nothing there. So that's the people that we deal with. To say that we, the system works without any consideration of the risk, it will be a system which will disappear right away. One of the first decisions we made when we started coming back, we'll never punish a borrower for any reason, even if she doesn't pay back. So that's one concrete thing. We'll never punish. Punishment in the, in the financial world, you give uh, a higher interest because you fail to pay. You deny the loan next time because you fail to pay. All those kind of so we don't have those punishments integrated we train our borrowers that if a woman fails to pay back how would the group behave to her in the beginning when they're just joining they're enthusiastic to make sure everything is nice and proper they said no no we'll make we'll punish her so we said in in come in bank there is no punishment you can't do that oh we'll make we'll bring pressure on her to pay back the money so we have to explain, that's not how Grameen Bank Group works. If somebody cannot pay, and you are her friends, you have to react as a friend. And your first question that will be coming to your mind, oh my God, she is in trouble. We have to go and help her. For every case of non-repayment, even one installment, installment means weekly installment, even if she is not paying one installment. There is a sad story behind it. Find out the story first. Don't get angry or reactive just because she couldn't pay. Maybe her husband took the money and ran away. It's possible she, he found the money and ran away with the money. So as a good friend, your responsibility is to go and catch her friend, uh, catch her husband. Not get angry with her, but she's a helpless person. And if you cannot find her husband, ask your husbands, all four of your husbands, to go and catch him because they are buddies, they are friends. And they will find out. And bring him back, with money or without money. Because in the meantime, he may have just wasted the money. But bring him back anyway because others' family is in trouble. So that's one mechanism for them. Ultimately, what happens? What do we do? We said, okay, it's a, it's a, there's a fire, you dis everything is destroyed, there's a flood, everything is gone. There's a business mishap, you lost everything. That's not the end of the world. Our job is to push her morale so that she feels not let down because she's totally devastated with, with this experience. We said, oh, the world doesn't end with one flood or one disaster. We have to keep on fighting with it. So let's start all over again. What would you take, like to take the money for now, this time? Tell us what, what, what you want. She may repeat the same thing. She took a loan to buy a cow. She said, I want to buy another cow. Okay, we give you a fresh loan. What happens to the other loan? Previous loan. Previous loan will be turned into a long-term loan. So that the weight of that loan is not heavy. So you pay the second loan as a regular loan and pay a tiny little bit what you can afford, just a tiny bit, which will go to the first loan. 
And you continue. You're as good as anybody else. As long as your intentions are clear, you have no problem. You go and do that. So this is how we do that. And somebody said, I'll pay the loan back in one year. So time is one year, suppose. And she has been paying all the installments regularly, but since she missed about five installments over, over the years. Some problem with the family or the children or something always happens. So she couldn't pay back the entire money in the 52nd week. That's the period. Then in your terminology of the bank, she is a defaulter. We hated this word defaulter, but the banking system says you have to use the word default. So we use it. But we know that she's not a real defaulter in the minds of the bankers they have, meaning somebody who is not paying. She is paying. Simply she missed some installment. In the next five weeks, she will pay back the entire money. But just because you cross the line, according to the banking formula, you are a defaulter. So we put them in a defaulter list. The moment you put in the defaulter list, another responsibility comes for as a banker. You have to make provision against the outstanding loans. So whatever loan is now outstanding, you have to make 50% provision against it, meaning this you take as an expense, because this money, half chance that this money will come back. So you do that. But we know for sure that this money is coming back, and they do. But we follow the same banking principles, so that there is no way that people say, aha, uh -huh, you are hiding things. Many people accuse us that we um, extend the time period of the uh, loans. I said, yes, we do. We, we are not ashamed of that. We are not hesitant about that. But at the same time, we do the provision. So you cannot say that uh, we don't take the full accounting responsibilities, fiduciary responsibility for that. Because we take this ex by extension, by uh, renewal of the loan, we make pro proper provision so that the, all the banking rules are done. So this is how we deal with that kind of thing.